Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm CJ9899 and welcome to a test of my Edwards ESA 2000. Alright, so first off I just want to say I know I've been gone for a very long time, almost two months now. I got the summertime I usually take off to, you know, do summer things because, you know, summertime vacation and all that. But uh, now I am back. I do plan to upload a little bit more frequently. It'll definitely maybe one one or two videos a month, but that will be at the, the most. It's because I have been, you know, getting older, a lot more responsibilities coming. But um, I do still obviously love Fire Alarm. I do a lot with it still. And uh, I just wanted to take the time to make a video here to uh, break, get something out to you guys. So I figured I have not yet done a proper test demonstration on this setup. I know months ago I did a whole series on how to program these panels. And over a year ago, I did a video actually testing this, but that's without this cabinet and stuff. And I'll get into that. Um, but anyways, this is obviously where the quick start setup used to be. I had taken that down and I have remade it into an ESA 2000 style system. Um, obviously, so let's get into it. So obviously you can see here, uh, the door is probably your first question. So this door is obviously not an ESA 2000 door. So what this is, is basically a quick start uh, cabinet, because if you're unaware, um, up here in Canada a lot, you'll see actually quick starts are mounted in these bigger style Edwards cabinets, and they are actually the same kind that the ESA 2000s would use. Like they had these uh, special hinges here and all. This is a three bay model. Um, but the door basically here, this is actually a big quick start door. I just removed the quick start label. I actually um, bolted, or yeah, I screwed the two doors together and flattened the, the lips that would go, because these would normally be two separate doors, like one for your battery stuff for power supply and one up here. You'd have actually a CPU in the quick start stuff there. But yeah, I basically just took that and I turned it into one door and it fits pretty well. I had to use like a few uh, things on the hinges to raise the door up so that the window would line up with the display. But I actually think it doesn't look too bad, but I will still be on, I am still looking for a proper three bay door for one of these things. But these panels are becoming so rare that it's just, I don't know if I'll ever find one, but... I'm glad to have the cabinet because I got lucky on that. So anyways, let's get into this um, standard ESA 2000. Uh, I've gone over this many times, so I won't get into it too much. System normal. Uh, you got your zones here that I've programmed, your bell circuits. Uh, for the devices, I have gone with two that you would very, you would see a lot on these panels. One are these, the 275 SPOs. Um, these are what my uh, elementary school had on one of these. And then... Um, Kind of an older style 270. This is the one that was blue, but I repainted it back to its original colors. Or it was painted blue for something, but then I painted it back anyways. But you would actually see these 270s the most on uh, the ESA 2000s, like the early 90s. And then for smokes, I have an older 6249C and a C2W. Or, sorry, <laughs> a C2M smoke detector and a rebranded ESL. And for the horn strobe, I actually went with this. This uh, obviously you can tell an Edwards 792, 7A006 on a 792 back box. And also an older style end of line Edwards or Edwards end of line resistor plate here. So this setup is actually very similar to one of two ply boys videos. Um, his video, oh, you know, I've been here before when he does you know, the whole high school with the 792s, it had one of these panels and it had these 270s. So I'm going to kind of replicate that. It is set on continuous because, you know, that's what these horn strobes are supposed to be on. So anyways, let's go ahead and do this. Um, I am just going to do the 270 for the pull station and then or I'm just going to switch activate it and then I'll do the Edward 6249 smoke. So anyways, let's get this thing going in three, two, one.
these panels are pretty crazy sometimes. I know it's kind of strange how it does a little hiccup and then start the horn starts going off. I don't know why it does that, but you know, that's just how these panels are. And let's go ahead and actually we're gonna smoke out the uh, the sixty two or the yeah the sixty two forty nine. So here we go. <laughs> that and i'll jump cut to when the smoke has been blown out and we'll do a reset smoke's been blown out so now i can go ahead and do a reset and that will obviously take a while so anyways that has been a test of the edwards esa 2000 uh this is cg9899 signing off and we'll see you guys next time bye for now